play the character Paul Boimer, who uh, at, the, at the beginning, the start of the show, he's only 17 years old, and he he's kind of like the, the every man, really, or every boy, really. He has friends and everything. He's not necessarily a loner, but he's he's not cool. You know, he's not remarkable or anything like that. Um, and when he ends up volunteering along with uh, the rest of his schoolmates and uh, goes out into the front, it you see throughout the show just um, how his character, I think, struggles to retain a lot of that innocence. He's very much as, as serving as the narrator to the show too. It's, he's very much serving, I think, as the the eyes for the audience in a lot of ways. The, a lot of times, it's a number of times it's mentioned in the show that um, they went in as, as as young men, as boys, but this war, despite only going on for a, a few years, has aged them decades. Really, they feel like they're old men, and that's very much apparent in some in some ways as not just Paul, but the rest of his, of his mates, his soldiers in arms, um, they, they grow tired. The story that's about World War I, you think, oh, there's, there's communists? Yeah, there's quite a lot. But there, within the cast, we have a lot of great moments together, certain scenes. And it's definitely, I think, built up a lot of bonds with just how we were approaching things in and out of a scene that we can snap like that in and out of character and what have you.